Hello and welcome to a very special installment of Renault's product review, coming at you straight from the 2018 Nuremberg Toy Fair. For those of you who don't know, my name is Brett, I'm the videographer at Renault's Euro Imports. Here at the Toy Fair, we have some amazing things to show you. Anything from toys, dolls, action figures, and of course what you came here to see, trains. Now join me for an exclusive look at everything we have to offer at the 2018 Nuremberg Toy Fair. Hi, I'm Herbert. Welcome at the Architect booth at the Toy Fair 2018 in Nuremberg. We made uh, 160 new items this year uh, in different fields, so some military products, uh, civilian products, some train sets, and I would like to show you uh, at the showcases uh, the different items. Well, this was our biggest surprise for this year. We kept it secret until yesterday, 12 o'clock. We had an assembly of people here and then we removed the covers and everybody could see for the first time this very famous Dutch train set. It was the most wanted model in Holland for the last 20 years and finally it appeared. In cooperation with REE, we developed these locomotives. Um, they had already developed the technique and uh, some of the details. And the only thing we had to do is develop new uh, bodies and we could make a, a very high quality Dutch locomotive out of this. Here we have a very interesting small tank. Um, it was de developed by the French in 1917. And what's interesting for America is that it also was the first tank in the American army. When the Americans came in 1917, they brought nothing uh, except their own rifles. And in France they were equipped with tanks and guns. And this is uh, that famous tank. On the German side, we have a very interesting uh, little truck, the Opel. Okay, here's the Abrams M1, and on a special request from Reynolds, we developed this um, uh, train load version. Um, and interesting about it is, it will come like this, but we add a, a, an extra decal. And on this decal, we have 124 different numbers. So if you would like to make a train load uh, with many of these identical tanks on a train, uh, by just scraping off one number and adding one of the 124 uh, new numbers, you can make endless variations in tanks and make it very interesting. You also see the M60. It was the main battle tank uh, on American side in the Cold War. It was from the end of the 60s until 2000. Then we come to the World War II items. Okay, now we come to something very special. It's called the Bailey Bridge. Uh, this bridge is unique because it was developed uh, during World War II by uh, an English engineer, Mr. Bailey. Um, and it was uh, meant to replace destroyed bridges in Europe and Asia uh, uh, so that the, the, the Allied armies could cross uh, anywhere where they wanted to cross. Uh, interesting about this concept is that with only four parts, and I show you, this part number one, part number two, part number three, 
and part number four, you can make this complete bridge. And what's nice, you can make it any different length. You can make it only one frame, two, three, four, five, six, etc. And what you can also do, what you see is this is a, a lightly constructed bridge, only one frame on each side. So this is a light bridge, but if you need more weight, you make it stronger, like this. Or stronger, like this. Or even stronger, and you do it like this. Or this. Or this. And you can even make pillars out of it, with using exactly the same parts. And no, ma no matter what layout you have, if you have a small river or a very big valley, you can make it fit. This is the basic product, so if you buy it, this is it. And if you buy also an extension set, this is what you get. And if you buy more of these, of course, then you get that. Come to our civilian program. First you see here the, the Rust in Peace series. Actually it's our normal program but we make them like they're completely uh, rotten and, and wrecked. Here you see a very famous uh, bulldozer, a German bulldozer from the, the 1930s. You see the, uh, the Opel truck. We already discussed the military version but this is the civilian version of it. Then we developed some wagons. It could be circus wagons or um, uh, gypsy wagons. Um, they were traveling around in, in Europe in, in the 50s and 60s. Uh, nowadays they have completely disappeared. Architect is not only doing HO scale, but we also do N scale and Z scale. And here you will see uh, the same M1 uh, with the same possibilities with a decal set as we discussed with the HO uh, M1 and you will see some uh, World War II German vehicles as, as train loads. And then of course the very famous GMCs in military version and also in the civilian version. And then the same things you also saw already in HO, the, the combined, the uh, Trafo and the, the Caterpillar bulldozers. And here one scale smaller, Z scale, the same combined and the same bulldozer and also the plowing horse. Uh, you need good eyes to see it, but it's there and it's very detailed. Thank you for your attention. Uh, we hope to see you next year. and uh, We will work very hard the coming year to make new things for 2019.